These are the Power Puffs, grade seven students from Bruce Middle School here at the All Science Challenge at the University of Manitoba. What they're doing is they have to come up with a way to protect this egg. It's going to be dropped from one meter, I think then two meters, then three meters, and the egg can't break. So they have a box filled with supplies, including earplugs and sponges and tape, and the kids have to figure out how to make this work. And Mars, this is obviously, they're learning, but they're having fun, and that's the point. That's exactly the point. So the point is really that they're engaged, they're doing problem solving, they're thinking, but in the meantime, they're also having a really great time. They're working together as a team, so uh, that is at the heart of this challenge. Cut this in half, cut this in half. This? Yeah. And science can be scary for kids, especially as at this age where they're starting to head into high school. So learning that science is all around us, that everything that, that we do involves science is the kind of the light bulb will go off for a lot of the kids. Yeah, it's unfortunate that sometimes the word science has these multiple connotations. And sometimes one of the big ones is, I don't know if I can do it, so I don't know if I want to go into it. So part of the programs like this event and part of the programs that we do at Let's Talk Science is to really try and break that barrier to build that confidence level of, I can actually do this, or I find this exciting, or I want to learn more. It's, it, speaking of confidence and self-esteem, it's so great to see kids of all ages here, like from six, seven, and eight, all abilities, there's, there's girls, and I think that's fantastic to see as many girls as there is here. Yeah, we believe science is inclusive to everyone, and that's certainly what we support and through our program. So regardless of what your background is, even age, gender, it's, uh, it's inclusive to everybody. Everybody can do science. And that's such an important lesson to learn at this age. This is exactly the age where kids start to think if they can't do it they veer away from the math and science and of course it's the people in math and science who, who keep our cities running and keep our the bridges going and the airports and the planes flying and, and that's what the kids are learning that science is everywhere. Yeah, and that's exactly it. I mean, our world, permeates, science and technology permeates through our world. So you can't escape it, whether uh, it's in your everyday occurrences, whether you're in a science-related career or field, science and technology is here to stay. And so part of it is to really get kids to understand the relevance of science and technology and to have them feel engaged and enthusiastic about science and tech. And this is also an opportunity for them to talk to older students because the University of Manitoba, all the people that you see in the blue t-shirts, they are students at the University of Manitoba and they're taking the time to mentor these students and that bond is very important as well. It is and our volunteers are awesome. I mean we've got volunteers here from the University of Manitoba and the University of Winnipeg and we've got volunteers that are really from coast to coast um, here in Canada and uh, there's 2,700 of them in 33 universities and colleges and they are really wonderful wonderful role models for kids in terms of the diversity of sciences, the diversity of careers, yep. areas of study, and their enthusiasm and passion for science. And that's so important when you talk about the diversity of careers because again, young kids especially, well adults as well, can be really narrowly focused on what they think science means. But to have that world open up and to learn that, oh, that job or that job or that career, I like that, I can do that, yeah. that, that learning is so important. Yeah, and that's one of the things we want to do is sort of break the, the traditional ideas that if you go into science you're a biologist a chemist or a physicist because those are school subjects science permeates so many of the jobs and careers now and kids need to be aware of how maybe I don't want to specialize in science but a career that I, I am interested in there's actually some science component to it When I see how hard the kids are working behind me and having fun, and this is going on across the country, All Science Challenges, second year, and it is growing. Yeah, it's grown here. It's the second year at University of Manitoba, and it's grown from last year to this year, and it's grown nationally as well. So we have 19 sites now from Dalhousie to, to Victoria where kids are doing this. They're doing the same questions, same challenge, and uh, getting excited as well about science and technology. Well, we'll be talking to the students and, and teachers coming up in a few moments, and you'll see 
see them drop the eggs, you'll see how Power Puff does. But bottom line, what are you hoping these kids will take away from today and their parents as well? Yeah. I think what we're really hoping they take away is that science is dynamic, science is fun, science is interesting, science is for them. It's not this scary word or this, uh, this school subject that they only take, that they really get enthused and excited about science and technology and the energy in the room, you kind of get that feeling that that message is coming through. Three, two, one.